Repaired! Problems, uh... Problems dealt with. Did you find her? Were you able to help her? She has peace now. Thank you. From both of us. I hope somewhere I may find forgiveness for what I did. For what I... Couldn't do. You locked her up in a big room and hoped for the best, but that's fine. The scary sounds are over now. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping that could just stay blurred out because it'd be like, holy shit, this kid's drawing something really explicit. Are you really leaving? I'm afraid I have to, sweetie. But some friends are coming to help you guys out. They'll be here really soon. What if the troll gets them? Uh, what troll? There's a giant troll down in the parking lot. He makes lots of very scary noises, so it's hard to sleep. Oh, well, that's no good. Maybe I'd better chase him away. And yeah, we can't have trolls in the parking lot, can we? No, sir. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold up. Blueprint angel sword? I like the sound of that. That sounds cool. Let's go kill us a troll. <laughs> and then make a master sword. I'm ready to leave, but one of those kids says there's a troll outside. Troy sent some people to help out here, but I better make sure the area is safe before leaving. Yeah, because you know they're not going to fucking make it inside. Lord knows even once they're safe, they'll probably fight every single zombie along the way. Alright. Oh, it's just a rebar zombie. That's cute. Give me one moment! <laughs> I'm going to disguise in front of him. I have no idea where I am. I am but a shadow. Vanishing in the land. <laughs> now you are sparking. How will you fight me when you are being electrocuted across your entire body? You can't do anything! Yeah? I have won, troll. All right, now, we're all clear out here. I've earned my passage. That wasn't the troll. What? Wait, what? Oh, shit! That's the troll. Oh, shit! Oh, of course it is. Oh, uh, hey, buddy. You don't see me. I'm just a happy... <laughs> Friendly zombie. Wow, that was easy. Look at the fucking crowd. Yeah, scratch one troll. Crane, this is Rupert. You're all right? Yeah, but kids are a lot more work than I realized. That's the truth. Look, your friends arrived, so I'm turning in my wizard hat and headed back to my workshop. I want you to meet me there. I owe you one hell of a debt, and it's time for me to pay it. And I'll meet you there. Is... is he gonna be the one that rewards me with... the angel sword? Because... The gunsmith shouldn't be rewarding me with a fucking gun blue- or a sword blueprint. I'm just saying. That's, uh... That's a little silly, but... I'll buy myself a medieval long sword while I'm here. I'm ready to have a pretty badass weapon, especially if it does more damage than my... Fire axe. Uh... Metal parts... Lockpicks... Okay... Do I have ammo for everything? Okay. Oh, of course I have to sell things first. I was just gonna- I was gonna- I was gonna buy the sword, then just sell everything. So that way, once I sold everything in one big burst, I can just leave, but that is not the case. Holy shit, I have 51 jewel boxes. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Thank you for the money. I have 200,000. All right, so remember how I said I could probably buy five things and be good? We'll just change that. Maybe like 10 things. And then my money would be gone. Lordy! All right. So. Let me just look at things. Obviously, we do not have uh, the blueprint just yet, but I'm just going to look at things. So if I got another pickaxe, or another not pickaxe, but just a pick. I could probably make the fire launch? Sure, fine. <laughs> Too many damn weapons. Too many damn weapons. 
do a little down to use them. Maybe they should have even lower durability. At first, I would say that they shouldn't have as much durability. Or rather, at first I would say they should have more durability, because at the beginning of the game, I would just break them immediately. And just be like, oh man, I have to throw it away now. I know I kind of didn't realize things about, like, the repair system a little, until a little bit later on. After being explicitly told about it. But, yeah, no, I, I think at this point, the weapons just last so long. Okay, what is going on in here? We have an orange item. Oh, just a statue. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something better. An orange box. So what is this one going to be about? Is man still at the top of the food chain? Bozak wants to know. It's time to go hunting for the volatiles. Volatiles, huh? Available at night. Okay. So there you go. They just said volatiles. So the volatiles are the volatiles. The volatiles are the volatiles. The nightmares are the volatiles. Ugh. Names, yo. Where is this guy? Is he on the other side though? Wall? What went wrong? Oh! I don't mean this plague, that must be God. But what went wrong with Haran? Oh, when they found the oil, they said it would make us all rich. Everybody. They said there would be jobs, but the good jobs went to people who weren't even from Haran. They built big towers with air conditioning, but I don't know anyone who works in them. For us, they built a slum. That was our reward. That was the gift of oil. Now the water is not clean, and the air smells like a truck. It was not fancy before, but it was not so ugly like it is now. And then this plague came. Last month, I saw a man. A rich man. He was being attacked by a peasant woman. I knew her. Her name was Denise. Only, she was no longer a person. And this thing that used to be Denise bit into that rich man's face like it was a watermelon. And I was glad. Oh, I'm ashamed of how glad I was. <laughs> well, you know, it's perfectly understandable. Capitalism, man. You say, hey, trickle down economics, and then the money doesn't really trickle down. And it's a big shame. Hey, what's going on up there? Hello! No, I got you. Ow! God! I wasn't going to attack you, and I still won't, because I am a respectable human being. Jeez. Okay. I am going to head over to Rupert, grab a bunch of things, and then I guess we'll head downwards. Over to these areas. So, oh, there we go! I did it! <laughs> That's all I wanted. A nice grappling hook to the other building. So is Rupert actually gonna be... At the save zone? Or is he gonna be somewhere else? He's at somewhere else. Alright. Rupert? Are you inside this tower or this building with a closed off gate? Jesus! I was not hitting him at all. Okay. So the icon says he's up top, or to my right. So what's going on here then? Just food? Okay. I'm fine with supplies. Uh, what's back here? Zombie, zombie. No zombies. Huh. So it's basically just an alternative way to go through this building. Okay, I'm fine with that. Oh, there's a person. That's not what I wanted. Oh, did I slice off your head rather than saving you? That's a shame. Ah, <sighs> survivors are so cruel. They're all like, hey, I need supplies. I'm so sorry for doing this. And then they hit you with a fucking axe. Thankfully, most people are sane. I actually like that there are now random survivors who try to assault me. 
I mean, I'm not happy, happy about it, but I appreciate the effort that these people are trying to go through now. Excuse me, Rupert. You said I have to, uh, they have to pay me a big, big debt, so I'm taking everything I can. Everything. I hope you don't need whatever's in these lock boxes. Oh, here's a purple police rifle. Okay. I might as well replace it. Or replace my blue with the purple. I really don't think they make a difference in anything. A headshot's gonna be a headshot. <laughs> there's no damage difference. Okay, but there's an aesthetic difference. Ooh. Ooh. Hold up now. I want to look at these. Which means I have to exit the door slightly. Uh, purple, there we go. Alright. So here we have an orange police rifle. An orange police rifle. And a purple. The purple is... Pretty similar to the blue one, if not entirely identical, but the two orange ones are actually slightly different. We have one that's kind of like a desert camo and one that's like a jungle camo. And I kind of want to keep the one that's a jungle camo. Or not jungle camo, a uh, desert camo. Because I like desert camo, I guess, a little bit more than jungle. <laughs> so we are going to figure out which one is what. That one was the desert one, okay. Alright, I just wanted to make sure everything is where they should be. So are these different costs as well? No, they are the exact same value. See, that's like the weirdest thing ever. Here are a bunch of... varying quality weapons, but for the guns, no! The guns don't change up much. Alright. Whatever. I got a desert gun. Desert camouflage gun. That means I'm gonna be even more extreme than everybody else. Hey. Glad you made it. You did me a heck of a favor back at the Magic Fortress. Happy to help. And I'm happy to pay you back, so have a look around. If you see anything you want, it's yours. On the house. This will do very nicely. Thanks. Thank you. And good luck, Crane. Is that it? Ooh! The Angel Sword blueprint is actually an orange? Oh shit, I thought it was a blue, because that's what it showed up on the mission thing. Holy hell! Got anything that looks like a sword? Wired up! This will put the fear of God of the air into anything that hits it, till the batteries run out. Oh, wow. Electricity and burning. And I can either put on a two-handed sword, machete, blade, short sword, or copish. Intriguing. The only problem is... I don't really have much. Let's see. I have this medieval longsword. And I'm really- I, mean, I think I'm gonna put it on there. At least once. But I want a machete. <laughs> I should just like abandon everything. And by ban everything, I mean like just throw out all the weapons I have right now, replace them with new stuff, and then be content with them. But first of all, I'm gonna say, fuck everything else. Medieval longsword. I have plenty of ingredients to make more. Alright. Medieval longsword. I will replace the superior crude pick. Now I have two two-handed weapons. And if I upgraded it with like, say... Uh, I don't know, a uh, king upgrade? Can I get two king upgrades on there? Oh my lord. I could make this over a thousand damage. Oh man. We're not gonna do that though. Because I don't really typically use two-handed weapons all that much. Uh, so we're gonna upgrade it with other things. So, let's see. Uh, probably some purple stuff. Barbarian solid. Brute looks really good. 
And maybe we need some handling. Templar has two handling. Fencer has two handling. Alright, so we're looking at Templar versus Fencer. I think Templar wins just because it also has a durability increase. I want handling because these two-handed weapons swing really, really so slow, so that'd be really nice to actually fix that. In fact, I wonder if I could just increase it supremely, right? Like, as much as I really, really like damage, I also really, really like swinging my weapons quickly. So here's what we're gonna do instead. Instead of slapping Barbarian on, we're actually gonna put uh, King on here. So that way I can get a lot of handling, maybe? I do want it to do a lot of damage. Uh... Champion seems solid. But I want the 200. I want it to go over a thousand damage because I want to be extremely excessive. Maybe I could slap on another king. Then I could have a weapon that swings super quick and does a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, this is a really hard choice because I don't actually know how the handling affects it. Eh, this is a test anyways. Alright, we're gonna just- we're gonna- we're gonna leave one king, and we're gonna go with two Templars, so I can max out the handling of the weapon. Cause I think the biggest problem I have with swords, or with two-handed weapons, is how slow they can get. And this is quick! This is really good! Holy shit! That gets rid of a large problem I had. Uh... The only problem is, this doesn't really seem to have the whirlwind attack. So I guess it really just ends up depending on the weapon as well. It's more of like a standard power attack, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with... with this handling more like the one-handed weapons without being one-handed. You can definitely see that it's two-handed because, well, when I swing it, it's like... Eh, eh, gotta put all myself into it! But otherwise, we are happy. Alright, so we're gonna use this a bunch. And then if it's really, really good, we'll start upgrading all of my two-handed weapons like this. <laughs> Maximum handling! So that's all he gave me, right? Pretty much. Okay! Blueprint, grill him and kill him. That probably would have been something really nice as well. Ah, uh, trouble! How much trouble? Not sure! Haha! <laughs> I am a hero! I am a hero! Ah, I'm a hero! Yeah! You're welcome. That was too close. Too close. <laughs> you are like a guardian angel. Thank you. Please, take this. It is all we have. I'm very glad. Not because of that being all you have, but I'm very glad I got a king item out of that. <laughs> Just to make me happier about the things that I've done. Hello. Get up. You're fine. The badass that is King Crane. That animal would have killed me for sure. Exterminated not only a group of Rice's men, but a demolisher just in time. Thank you. All right. So how far away is the mission? Sixty. That's good. And now I can sell a whole bunch of th the things. Uh, did I use any rifle ammo? No. I still want a... better gun. <laughs> you know, we're gonna sell the other one. Gonna screw this police rifle. Or I could keep it and just slap it in my inventory, right? I could totally do that. I just sold a shot-off shotgun. Who cares? I don't use a shotgun. 
It's not a bad weapon, it's just not one that I really intend to use versus everything else, so it's actually just kind of taking up space. <laughs> the Hoarder! Finally admitting, okay, I don't need that per se. But yeah, there's so many situations where getting headshots on, like, a bunch of people is just a lot more reliable than having a shotgun and hoping it does enough damage. If I want to kill a whole bunch of people in front of me, I have my melee weapons, you know? Oh god, I flew into acid! There you go, got the kill. I just wanted to stun him long enough to get the kill. Alright! That's the end of down. These guys are just getting in trouble all the fucking time. This is all we have. It's yours. Jesus Lord. Alright. Finally! Let's see what's going on with the legless spider. That doesn't sound like a very inspiring mission, but Hey, what's going on here? It's you, Crane. I've seen your face on the posters. You've got to help me. What happened to you? I took a bullet from Razor's men. I'm a runner too. Well, almost. Look, I'm out of commission. Can you help me out? I need you to finish this run for me. Hey, look, I'll get you to a shelter or something, but I've got other things to take care of. You don't have anything more important than this, I guarantee it. All right, tell me what you got. The source of the epidemic. Where? David can show you. Here's a list and a bag with the things I already collected. The rest is on you. When you've got it all, take it to David. He'll tell you everything. You'll find him at the Royal Canal. Tell him Spider sent you. What about you? I've got a safe house nearby. I'll be fine. Just help David. That's all that matters. Okay. I mean, I guess I care about how the infection epidemic started. All right, how far away is it? Uh, collect the remaining objects. Shish apart. 400 meters away. Or I could go into these areas and progress the story. Yeah, let's do this mission. <laughs> this sounds pretty important too. I like how just a few parts ago I was all like, we're gonna focus the story. We've hardly progressed it. I'm just really scared, absolutely scared of skipping side missions. Because we've actually had some pretty cool side missions. I mean, a lot of them had disappointing endings sometimes, like... The crazy dude. <laughs> there was a bomber. But, like, the crazy dude, that was... That was a little terrifying. I wasn't, like, scared scared, but I was like, oh, this is kind of creepy, buddy. And it was. Slightly disappointing end, because I was hoping he'd be even more creepy in the end, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, I will murder you! Holy shit, I just did a drop kill on this. Alright, this weapon is exactly like a one-handed we one handed weapon. That's how come it cannot do... The whirlwind attack. <sighs> Give it up! Just give it up! Are you okay? Are you sane? Are you not gonna attack every other person? Thank you. Here. This is from all of us. Thanks again. All of us? You weren't even with anybody this time. 